Let's drink some wine. Hi everybody, my name is Brian Hinchberger. And I'm Paul Hinchberger. We're the Wine Brothers. And today we're going to be drinking wine from Portugal. Uh, in fact, maybe one of, well not, not the most famous wine from Portugal, but, but a very uh, well-known zone. Um, it looks most like... Famous white. Most wine famous from. white wine, possibly. You could, you could argue, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's called Vinho Verde. Now, you're going to have to excuse my, my Portuguese uh, <laughs> pronunciations because the Portuguese language is, is quite hard to pronounce. So it looks like Vino Verde. But, Vino Verde. But I don't even know how to say that anymore. It's just Vino Verde. Vino it's, Verde. It's very, it's, the language is... Silent E on the end. Yes, yes. And you know when you see O's, it's like an ooze, and there's lots of shushes and such. So, mm -hmm. um... Vinho Verde is, is a, it means green wine. Um, it is a zone that if you think of northwestern Portugal, uh, the Douro River that finishes out in Porto and Villanova de Gaia, um, north of there, a quite large region is all part of Vinho Verde. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, what's, what's neat about this zone is, you know, everybody kind of thinks green wine because it's always young, it's always spritzy, and they're very fresh and kind of bleh. Um, this is this is some of the most exciting vinho verde that I didn't even know existed until we until we put it down on the old tongue and tasted it. It's uh, this is Quinta de Sagad. Uh, Quinta de Sagad is um, kind of a really cool collaboration between four friends that all have small little plots of vines. Um, uh, Antonio, this is kind of Antonio's project within the within the buddies who that makes the the uh, the mica the mica the. Um, because he, he has the Loreiro vines, and there's um, there's uh, Avarino and Azal are all part of are part of this blend um, that he pulls from these really amazing grapes, all certified organic fruit, um, to make a very serious vinho verde. So instead of adding CO two for a little spritz, you know there isn't any of that added to this. It's it's line drive, hit at home, clean, mineral bright, fantastic. Uh, Vigno Verde, or you know the the grapes that fall there within Pueblo. Wow. Um, mm. I mean, you're right. It's it is very. It's more serious than a normal Vigno Verde. Um, very lime driven, like mm. uh, lime juice and um, yeah, like a laser. And but it's like like green pineapple mm. or young pineapple or. Under ripe pineapple, I should say. Okay. Um, Meets lime, lots of lime, lots of tons lime. of citrus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tractor beam sucking right in. Yeah. But the texture is really cool as well. Like it's got some texture to it. It does. Uh, it actually, right up front, there's kind of some some thickness on the palate, mm -hmm. but it just cleans up like like a mop a mop of lime juice. Doesn't that sound nice? Sounds <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that does. <laughs> But it just mops things up. The lime is just clean, really, really vivacious. I love this wine. You know, their, their, their property, Antonio's property is just stunning. Uh, hosts a lot of weddings and such. Organic little farm. It's wow. pretty brilliant. Yeah, tiny little plots of vines. Um, they sell their organic vegetables at the farmer's market on the weekend. He and his wife are just so sweet. They're fantastic people. And it overlooks this gorgeous, you know, valley that essentially just kind of over the valley, the hill on the opposite side of the valley is where Porto sits. Um, so kind of close to the close to the ocean, but still inland enough um, to really kind of just give some really depth. There's more elevation. This sits about 250 to 300 meters above sea level. Um, the name mica, if you know the, the 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 mineral mica, so there is nothing but granite in this world, like wow. in in this area. Isn't that awesome? This is really good. <laughs> really good. I'm. Yeah, and typically, well, hold on. Let me finish well, right. my finish my point. Um, the granite is the primary rock, but within granite, you have all these awesome little things: quartz, mica, um, feldspar, all these little tiny tiny little 
minerals and rocks and blades of beauty that sit within the rock, thus the name. Um, but back to your point. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. I, I agree. The thing with um, Vigne Verte is it's kind of been bastardized by a couple giant producers that, you know, you can pay $6.99 for a Vigne Verte, and that's kind of set a standard. $7.99, $8.99. I mean, for that price, they're good, and they're, they're, they're fun. This they're, like, but this, this is, is a whole... This, 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 this is way, way better. I mean, we're talking, we're talking Little League Baseball to, like, the pro stuff. The major league. The major leagues, um, completely, and so and so this this retails at thirteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine instead of the eight dollar price day. point. Yeah, but for what the quality is, it's insane. All day long, it's insane. So this is kind of cool. This is one hundred percent Laredo. It's kind of a one off. This isn't something they necessarily do every year. But I thought, hey, while we're doing a a Wine Brothers video on these wines, may as well uh, really showcase everything that they do. May as well. So this is this is cool. Um, this vineyard, I want to say, is about a one hectare plot of one, only Loreiro, and you're in a very rainy area, so a lot of it you'll see a lot of overhead training. Um, but this this vineyard actually is not overhead. It, it but it the way that they situate it makes sure that the breezes kind of cool off the branches. Make sure that you you have um, lots of air travel, so you don't have um, uh, mold. Mm -hmm. um, well, because in that part of the region, there's a lot of humidity and and yeah and so moisture and everything. Moisture. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, in fact, I want to tell humidity you. is the essence of moisture. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It really is. <laughs> what, what do you get on this one, Paul? Uh, well, in comparison, it's much more tropical in in flavor. This is more lime focused. Mm. This is, um, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I can't say it's not limey, but it no, almost no, sure. But wow, do you have any rum? Mm. This would be a really cool cocktail. Well, I was thinking, that, I was thinking like margarita for that one, and this one done. Um, yeah, I, I, we, let's turn off the camera. Let's just go back <laughs> these. Um, so, a, a fun, fun little tidbit about Vigne Vert, where the name comes from. Everybody just thinks green wine because it's a. Mm. Uh, um, young, young, fresh green wine, but that's that's not true. No. The reason is is corn is a primary crop of this area of Portugal. So, for a long time, corn has been grown, and corn fields were actually surrounded by grapevines, almost as like a, a cover crop. But the the whole idea was, since corn requires so much water. Um, the water would naturally get to the to the vines, thus you never had super ripe grapes. Mm -hmm. um, there was they were always full of leaves, full of green because they were getting extra water on top of everything else. Um, thus the name Vigne Verde. So they, it refers to the canopy being extra green. The canopy extra yeah. green. The right. still still being a green wine because it's never reaching massive ripeness, which yeah. is kind of the 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 shtick of Vigne Verde. Everybody just kind of thinks of them as kind of just drinkable little high acid bombs. But these are super serious. Really mineral driven. I mean, thus the name Mica, which I think is completely fitting. Mm. Aren't these fun? Really fun. Yeah, I love them. So seek these out. You know, they're not your $8 bottle of Vigne Verte, but they aren't even 15 bucks typically, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're, they're dynamite. They're really, really electric. Awesome, Antonio's doing great work. The place is gorgeous. The fruit's good. This is all clean, all organic. Um, yeah, drink to your health more often for that. Indeed. Cheers.